summer games begin. Over 600 athletes from across the Green Mountain State are in Burlington this weekend to compete in the Special Olympics Vermont Summer Games. It's just an important display of courage and determination and fun. I'm feeling super. The sports, bocce and basketball. Coaches help them on the court and healthcare professionals off the court. Everyone had the chance to get healthy athlete exams, free eye assessments and dental screenings. It's kind of helpful well, just to double check to see if they got like any cavities or anything that's going on. So I just went through it. The goal is to promote health in a comfortable environment and connect athletes with resources regardless of health insurance. If they do well dentally, that'll follow through for the rest of their lives. If they lose a front tooth, that would affect their ability to, you know, to socialize or get a job. If they're in pain, that also would compromise them. And whether it's playing in a game or cheering them on, everyone wins. Mostly it's just exciting to see people with intellectual disabilities competing and achieving and um, you know, really overcoming in oftentimes some stereotypes and some obstacles that have, may have prevented them from doing so in the past. To tell out with friends, coaches, and peers, and root at each other on and be part of a really huge Special Olympic community. A community that continues to foster health, inclusion, and fun all across Vermont. Burlington. In Burlington, Abby Isaacs, NBC5 News.